First make the straight wire. The straight wire must be straight at least in center portion for proper shape of bridge. near the middle of the tooth and mark point along the center of the cusp. Then give 90 degree bend using Adam's player. Use universal player to give U bend. Make the arrowhead short by pressing the end of the arrowhead. Then give a 45 degree bend. Keep Adam's layer on the half portion of the arrowhead and give a bend towards you or away from you. Ensure that bridge lies approximately 1 to 2 mm away from the buccal surface of the tooth. Keep it near the tooth. and mark the point at the height of the occluso proximal surface of tooth. Give a bend and adjust the ends of the wire to rest on the occluso proximal surface. Cut excess wire which interferes on placing on cost. While cutting, fold the two ends of the wire then cut. This prevents flying of cut wire on someone near you. Place the center part of the clasp in the last or before last loop then give a bend. The other end of the clasp must adapt the contour of tooth. Adjust the clasp to adapt on the cost. Cut the excess wire. Mark the point and give bent on bent to arm to rest on the clasp. Similar to the other end of the clasp. Make the other end of the clasp to rest on the tissue surface. There is a trick to cut the small end of the wire. First use cutter to give light cut on the wire. Then use Adam's plier to bend and take excess wire. Give a retentive tag by holding the ends of the wire firmly using universal player and use Adam's player to connect free ends similarly to the other side of the class
Make sure that retentive arm should rest on the parietal tissue. Indication it is indicated in partially erected molars, especially in last molars, where there is only mesial undercut is available. And in case where tooth surface is not fully visible due to the gingival tissue. Contraindication it is contraindicated in teeth with the insufficient mesial undercut. In fully erected teeth, Adam's clasp is sufficient so that it is contraindicated in fully erected teeth.